Hello there, so here I am in Erodium 1 of Grand Arena Championship, and as you can see, I just got into Erodium 1, just by one point. Fantastic work by me. I don't know how I was that lucky, but I uh, obviously played well enough for that to be a reward for me. Looking at all the rewards, much, much better than in Erodium 4, which is where I started off at. And have a look at the quick... And what we'll do is we'll just go and have a look at the opponent. Let's have a look at everybody here. So as you can see, everybody here. Now they all, I think, yep, Galactic Legend, Galactic Legend, no Galactic Legend. Okay, that's that's good for me. Uh, Galactic Legend, <laughs> uh, no Galactic Legend, Galactic Legend and Galactic Legends. So a little bit outclassed as always, but uh, today's opponent does not have one and it's Troister. Rank presenting the Alaniza Renegades. Uh, I couldn't find any of his details anywhere. No account I'm assuming. So as you can see, 500,000 more GP than me. Um, yeah, well, that's, that's a good matchup, isn't it? So let's have a look at the opponent here. Let's go through by gear. Now he does have more relicates, as you can see already. Look at look, there's three already with the clone troopers, and when you've got two more with the Jedi, yep, and then two more again with another set of Jedi. Very yeah, very unfair. A lot of relicate there going kicking around. Now that is going to bump up his GP quite a lot, but he's got a lot of kick stuff kicking around. He's got a lot of these uh, Gear 12, a fair bit of uh, Jedi. It does have Jedi pretty much up and running. Got the best Garmando at Gear 12. Interesting to see how that works. Darth Talon, 7 stars at Gear 11. So I'm assuming he wild quite a bit on that. That's probably... 300 odd pounds that uh, he spent to get that, or he got lucky with one pack opening. We'll never know. So I'm assuming this guy is spending quite a lot of money, quite a lot of money to get some of these uh, stuff going around. It's a very, very bloated account. I like the fact that he's getting every single Reddit character that he has up to Reddicate, but a lot of these aren't necessary and they're quite tough to come by. Ships, pretty good pilots. He's got them, got them all going there. That's, that's looking all very, very good. Again, yep, all seven stars looking very, very threatening. Rebels are not up and running, so that's good for me. Um, doesn't have the Razor Crest at seven stars. It doesn't have a lot of stuff at seven stars, but he does have a negotiator. Does have a negotiator at Relic, so that is going to be difficult, especially at Relic 8 but his fleets are not that scary. I'm very confident that he won't beat my fleets. It's just a matter of how can I beat his, basically. I'm looking forward to it. I am looking forward to doing this. Hello there, so this is a different part of the video. This is completely, completely new. This is the DSR bot in the Discord server for my guild. You do have these bots in other guild servers and also in uh, servers like uh, Arnold's and Mobile Game and that sort of thing. You've got them in the, all the other YouTubers that do this game. Their servers has this bot. 
very very worth doing uh you basically you put in your ally code and the opponents you took put in uh, ga and then it comes up with all the stats and the overview of you and your opponent in the matchup as you can see you've got the gp you've got the top gp so this is what it used to match make you on and as you can see that would be the reason why i got matched up with the opponent because it then ignores everything else around it uh i'm not very happy with that <laughs> not very happy with that at all because as you can see the opponent has 600k more gp than me and the character and ship gp he has a massive advantage over me so don't know don't know whether the new matchmaking is still relying on the top 80 um having a look at the relics as you can see he has seven relic eight and 17 relic seven how is that fair? I do not know. Um, I have never faced that many Relic 8 characters. Um, I've probably faced about three previously in the whole of my lifetime in GAC, and then today I faced seven. It's not very, very fair. Not at all. Um, and then having a look at the GA stats, as you can see, my stats are... Well, the lifetime is significantly longer than his because obviously I've been playing longer. He has not been playing that long, clearly. Um, yeah, that's basically, to me, that is an indication that this is a account which he has been spending money on. Um, and that would explain why his satyrs and mods are not that many and pretty slow. Pretty slow and pretty low uh, mods. Not very good. Uh, for an account that hit his size, and then having a look at the roster, look at that, 110 Zetas to his 57, well, that's just a massive indication of how bloated his roster is compared to what everything else is, is indicating, basically, like, he should not be um, that high up in GP and, and also in the rankings for GAC, um, having a look at gear 11, yeah, Obviously I've got a little bit more, gear 12 just about, and then gear 13, I've actually got more relic characters than him, but he's got them uh, much higher quality than me. Um, and then having a look at the mods, look at that, number of mods, it's just, it's worlds apart, I've nearly got 400 mods that have got 10 plus speed, and he's only got 126. <laughs> Getting mods with more than 15 speed is, is the name of the game, I've got basically a hundred more than him in that department um, and that is the main reason why I'm probably going to win today because my mods are just so much more plentiful and more of higher grade than his well to part and then then you can scroll through you've got key characters uh, see Jedi Revan, Darth Revan, he doesn't have Malik, Darth Dreyer, Bosk, Emphas Nest, Commander Luke, C-3PO, General Grievous and then that's it so it's a good bot, gives you a good idea of what uh, what account that you're facing, what the enemy is looking like, and it gives you a good idea of how to set up your defense or offense. So back to the normal video. So let's go in on the defense. I does what I like and I like. I does what I like and I like what I do. So what you can see here is I've just done my usual defense. So this is my normal defense to set them up as I normally do. And down here, I've decided to actually put my Sith on defense. They, um, they're actually just providing a little bit more stability for me in defense. So I'm happy with that. They weren't really adding that much for me offensively. And there you go. That's the, the generic at the moment back wall defense of those three teams there um, and then the last but not least we've got our fleets and as you can see i'm very very confident that he won't get past <laughs> my 501st and padme team and then when you see what he's set on defense i'm very very glad i did that let's have a look at his defense then so as you can see look down here we've got three relegate jedi in there that is not not good at all to be facing that and then also he's got uh, Padme but I'm thinking I might be cheeky and use my bounty hunters to clear that 
and then this team I haven't decided what I want to use. It will mainly depend on how well that battle goes and also that battle goes. And then down here, this is the very scary defense war here. <sighs> Shaq T on defense, that is going to be very, very tough to deal with. Basically all the Sith here, which is not going to be easy. So on the Jedi, using Jedi on that is out of question. I might use my Imperial Troopers because they are pretty slow. Um, and I really need to take out Bastila as quick as possible. And then Vader basically after that. And yeah, and then we've got Bounty Hunters up here, which I'm thinking my Empire will be able to clear very nicely. I just don't know why he's gone so defensive. I have no idea why. I, um, I, I've got no idea. I'm going into this battle blind. Um, I've got a s.wgoh.gg account, so he can look it up at my history and see what I normally place on defense. Um, I basically went with what I normally place on defense. He's got the advantage of seeing what I place. I've got no idea what he does offensively or defensively, and he's just done a defense like that. I just don't understand it. He, he could have, I think, Shaq T at Relic 8, no matter what speed, would have given my General Skywalker a run for his money. He could have done something. I'm very glad that I've done what I've done, but now look at what he's got on defense. I would really like to have at least my Padme team on offense as well, because I don't think I've got enough to win or get a full clear. I've got to basically pick one section, keep my fingers crossed that I pick the right one and win. Um, because there is a very likelihood that he could just clear this south wall and then that wall and then win the game. And I don't want that to happen. Right, I'm back several hours later. I'm... A little bit more nervous actually than I was earlier on so let's just go in and hey what one do I want to do first I suppose maybe the Empire against the bounty hunters that'll probably build up my confidence and then I'm going to do my Imperial Troopers here and I've been told maybe try the Jedi against the Shaq team I'm not 100% too sure we'll see how that goes basically so uh, there like I said Let's build up my confidence because I'm a little bit nervous about all this. So let's go in against the Bounty Hunters. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, in we go here. Let's do this. Let's do that first off. Let's try and get a crit hit here and a debuff. Good. Ability block, good. Ability block, be thank you. Good, good. Let's do this again. Let's try and get some more damage output. Let's try and remove turn meter. We did. I don't know how Django took a turn. Should have been turn meter removed on Django. Django is looking like the weakest one here. Let's just try and get a stun on normal Mando because he'll t he'll give turn meter to everyone on his basic. Good. Let's just keep on working on Django. Django is the weakest one here, basically. So I'm really trying to work on him. Right, let's... Mm, Let's do an ability block here. Let's do this here. Let's do this. And then I want a Sabre Swing on Django. There we go, good, 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 good. That's ability block. Let's pass it over to Vader again. We nearly, nearly took him out. Nearly taking him out. I think Boba Fett, yep, he's gonna be a bit of a pain. Um, let's do this. I think, thank God for that. <laughs> let's put that back on him again. Good, good, good. Let's do this. Right, we've got to try and build up uh, our protection again. Let's just do that. That'll get rid of him. Yes, it will. Good, good, good. Let's crit hit. No, okay. That's not very good for me. That's not good for me either. Let's try and get a crit hit, everybody. Apologies. Thank God for that. Let's do this. Come on. There we go. Come on. 
in the Royal Guard is letting me down at the moment, but I think we can save Royal Guard and get full banners this way. There we go. I think we've done it, boys. I think we've only gone and done it. It's going to be a long battle. <laughs> yeah, very, very long. Oh, God, come on. Let's go in. We've got 23 debuffs. There we go. I don't even know what the damage output was there. So there we go. We've done for 75 banners. Let's go on to the next one. Sorry about that. So there was basically someone at the front door. So I just had to wrap that up. Um, that battle went. Let's do the Imperial Troopers on Vader then. Come on, boys. Let's bring this home. <laughs> Let's do this. Come on. I really want to take out Vader, thank God for that. Thank God, come on. Let's just do a tap here, that's good. I think that'll be fine. Dodges are not good for me. And I think we've done it, yes! We've done it, yes, come on! Come on, 65 banners, come on! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! That was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm... S yes. Yes. Come on. Six and a half hours later. Come on. I'm just going to use my Sith Empire. It's the... It's one... It was the plan I had. And I don't want to be changing the plan now. Let's bring this home. Right, get fear in everybody. Let's just do this. I really want to just get through Shack T as soon as possible. Come on, boys. That's probably the wrong move because we're all going to counter attack. That's fine, but we're going to do this. And yes, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't care that this isn't going to be high banners. I just want to clear this. You've got to understand that this is, this is my goal. It's not about being pretty, it is about just getting this done. Thank God for that. Need to take out Rex. Need to take him out because I think that was probably his turn of taking the aerial advantage. Thank bloody God for that. Come on, boys. Yes. We've done it. 62. <laughs> I really didn't think I was going to do it. Oh, I bet my opponent didn't bloody think I was going to do this either. I bet he's going to be so upset. Because I'm so over the moon that I've done this. So he has to be upset that I've done that. Surely. He has to be looking at this now going, Oh my god, what have I come up against? Let's... Okay, okay, I think we can do this. Okay, let's do the Bounty Hunters against Bound uh, Padme. Let's do this. Right, come on, lads. Okay, we've, we've gone and bloody done it. Okay, let's try and get an ability block on loads of people. Okay, this is fantastic. Okay, this has gone exactly to plan. Let's try and reduce Jolie out of this. Yeah, well, Jolie, you can't. You've just wasted your turn, buddy boy. He's only gone and wasted his turn. Ooh. I'm so happy. I'm so happy this is going to pay off. Oh, come on, do a big one. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Boba Fett. Can you please? I don't care that I don't have a taunt. I do not care at the moment. At the moment, I do not care about this. I just want... Okay, that I do care about it now. I did not expect that big of a hit. Let's try and uh, get some banners back. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, come on. Okay, done. Okay. Ahsoka, you are a massive problem for me. Please go away. Yes, four banners. Four banners. Yes. I've only gone and done it again. I've already gone and done it again. 65 banners. 
Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy that this is working out. I've spent, what is it, two hours basically? I'm in an R in and looking at his roster, looking at my roster, and it's all bloody paying off at the moment. This, I think, might be the battle that undoes it all. That's the reason why I wanted to do that Padme battle before my before my enthusiasm takes a massive dip, and probably yours as well. Let's just bring this home. Let's bring this home. Come on. Right. I really need some of that stuff taken away. Let's go for Anakin. Fan bloody tastic. Let's do this. And I think he might. Oh, he's still standing. Okay. He. Okay. Well, that was not part of the plan. Okay, well, we've got to really take out Anakin now. Um, oh, why is he so much more tankier on the first few turns than... What the bloody hell happened there? Well, that doesn't seem... Why Why was he so tanky and then not tanky? Like, what happened? <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what happened. Okay, well, we've got to... Okay, well, never mind. I was going to say we've got to try and keep Master Yoda alive, but um, clearly I'm not allowed to. <laughs> okay, this... Mm, okay, we've got to try and take out Revan, because for the cleanup... Ooh, let me know. Yeah, I really do need to take out Revan, don't I? Okay. Let's try and bring back someone, if we can. Ooh, blooming hell. I'm really blooming surprised at how they've been able to do this. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Are they going to take out my... Okay. Well, this is... Yeah. I took out Anakin. Damn! But his Jedi is so much slower than mine. It must be the um, it's the Relicate stuff. It is the Relicate stuff on him. Round or attempt number two, basically. Let's. Uh, I suppose we've got to try and take out Yoda. We've got to take him out. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's just... Oh, blimey, okay. I didn't expect the taunt to come back so damn quickly. Okay, let's work around it. Come on, Chewbacca. Uh, if we can take out your... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just please and thank you. Let's just try and do this. Damn. See, this is where I was saying about I've got to try and take him out, Revan, because the cleanup would have been so much more easier if I could just. Damn it. That's. Nothing to be gained. Nothing to be gained from this. I think I'm. That's it. I think that's game over on the. Um... Well, not game over as in all of this. It's just game over. I can't get past that wall. I can't see what he put fleet-wise, basically. Um, I can take out the Luke there. And then I've got stuff down here that I can use very easily. So, damn. That's very annoying. Let's do this, boys. Come on. Let's... Call in. So basically, I'm assuming that was the fact that they can't defeat people if Qui Gon Jinn is still alive. So I'm assuming that paid off. Okay, well, this is working out very damn well. That's, this damage output is fantastic. Let's do some of that. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Thank you very much. Thank you for playing, uh, General Akbar. 
Ooh, the foresight is a fantastic thing going on here. I am loving this team. Look at that. See, I know I lost two, two protection banners, but that is a fantastic squad. In a tight situation like that, that is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, I'm f I'm really, really glad. Really, really glad. Okay, let's go down to the south. Let's just wrap this day up. Take out General Grievous with... Mm, who do I want? Probably Old Republic. Okay, let's do some of this. Okay, that's okay. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. I know it doesn't look too great, but I am fine. Let's t try and take out Newt if possible. Um, yeah, I think we can. Yes, we can. Good, good, good. Definitely need to take rid of the uh, B2 as soon as possible. Yeah, he's just really going into town and doing that ability, isn't he? Okay. Ooh, bloody hell. I did not expect that. Okay, well that's a bit disappointing. I've lost banners there. In fact, I did not expect a gear 8 droidica to be doing that sort of damage. Okay, well, lesson learned. That's a very harsh lesson, but it is a lesson learned. Damn, 62. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. Again, I've been brought down to reality. Let's... Let's have a little bit of fun with the Geonosians on the First Order. Let's get into this. Let's... Yeah, let's just try and take out him. There we go. Fantastic. Let's work on the pilot. Fantastic. Let's work on the officer. Fantastic. Can we get an ability block? No, because it was Poggle that I should have done the special ability block with, but that's fine. Let's do this. Can we remove turn meter? Just about. Let's just do this. Okay. Well, there you go then. Done. 65 banners. Fantastic. Basically could have put it on autoplay. Okay. Good. Well, that's all worked out very well. Yeah, Old Republic probably was a mistake. Probably should have used the Geonosians in hindsight. Old Republic would have been absolutely fine with the First Order. I'm going to do my Sith Triumphant against Ewoks. I've never done it before, so if you have and you're screaming at me, it's the same. Don't do it. Unfortunately, I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, but if you if you haven't ever seen this sort of match before, um, then it's going to be a good a good time to watch this and maybe learn something new because I'm definitely going to learn something new. Is it actually possible? Is it going to work? Let's find out. Right, okay, let's definitely do as much damage with this. Okay, good, good, good. Um, yeah, let's just try and reduce cooldowns. Good, good, good. Let's do some of this. Fantastic. I isolated Elder because there wasn't Pablu, there isn't the tank, so, and I was just sort of like, well, this is the main person I want to be taken out, so it just makes sense that uh, Ewok Elder isn't going to be getting all the buffs. So let's do this now, because that's looking very good for me. There we go, good, good, good. I'm a little bit annoyed that Sion isn't tanking as much as he should be. It's a little bit different to the... Gian Ocean counter really isn't it? Let's try and do this. Come on, come on. It should be Nihilus's turn soon. Um ah oh, damn it, okay, well gotta buy another turn. Let's try and go for Chirper at least. Let's get rid of all the buffs. Fantastic. Um I really want to punch Log Ray in the face, so He's got that wish. Let's do this. Fantastic. Let's do that. I think we've got full health on everybody. How was that deflected? How was that deflected? You've got the force. It's just an Ewok. 
64. Okay. Um, so what happened? Okay. Well, yeah, we just didn't get the full protection. So we lost out of seven sixty-seven banners. We've yeah, we've got sixty-four basically. Okay. Well, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Probably the same number of banners that I'd have got with um, Emphas Nest. That is basically the game over. Yeah, wow, that was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, maybe in hindsight I should have used the Jedi against Shakti, but that was a fantastic battle. Absolutely fantastic battle. And then, yeah, up here, I really don't know what happened. Like, I had the turn meter, and then their turn meter train basically took over for some... I'm assuming it's the Relicate stuff really comes into effect, but... Yeah, that was very annoying. That was very disappointing. That was a bit of a downer, unfortunately. Um, a little bit like the opponent today. It was a bit of a downer. I can't believe how defensive he went. He basically put all of his relics on defense. I have no idea how he's going to get past that wall. Um, and I have no idea how he's going to get past this wall. If he does, I've got to question it, basically. With the characters that he put on defense, I have no idea how he's going to do what he's got to do, basically. I yeah, no confidence in my opponent. Um, his mods were really slow. The Jedi are modded very slowly as well. It's very surprised, very surprised. It surprised me um, that he got a turn me to train against my Jedi. So, is there anything we can do? There's nothing else. There is nothing else to talk about. There is nothing else here. There is nothing else along this line. No, there isn't. There's just nothing. It's really weird not having the, the feats anymore. Because I'm so used to then going and collecting feats and, and, and playing for feats sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. But yeah, it's just really weird. Very, very weird. So, that was the opponent for today. So, um, thank you for watching. And, yep, Merry Christmas, probably for the last time. Happy New Year. First time I'm going to be saying it, and yeah, I'll see you next time on the holo table for the next round. So until then, may the force be with you. This is where the fun. This is where the fun begins. This is where the fun. This is where the fun. This is where the fun begins. Connect me to it. It's like doing here. Bad idea. Yeah.